This is the morning news. Good morning, Farmington. Today is Friday, April 1st. My name is Warren. And my name is Zachary. Bring you the morning news. <laughs> Today for lunch, we'll be having barbecue pork riblet, hamburger on a bun, crispy french fries, pineapple tidbits, fresh vegetable bar, chocolate chip cookies, fruit juice, and milk. Students, juniors and seniors, you are quarterly invited to this year's 2022 prom, a grand affair. Prom will be held on Saturday, April 23rd from 8 to 11 in the FHS Commons. Tickets will go on sale after spring break in Miss Mode's class, in Miss Mode's room, C204. Guest forms will be available from Miss Mode or in the main office. Ticket prices are $45 for FHS student single ticket, $80 for an FHS couples ticket, you save $10, $50 for a non-FHS student, $55 if you purchase at the door. Include in your ticket price are appetizers, desserts, a candy bar, beverages, printed photos from the photo booth, good music, dancing, and a swag bag for each guest. Please see Ms. Mo for more information. Your books are running out quick. If you want one, make sure to purchase sooner rather than later. Deadline to buy is April 15th. If you turn in for a talent show form by Wednesday, you have been assigned a time to audition. Check the list on the window of the front office or the bulletin board outside the choir room for your, for your time. All auditions are happening in the junior high cafeteria next Tuesday and Wednesday. If you're trying out for next year's cheer and dance teams, tryouts will be held April 18th through the 21st, with the results posted April 22nd at 4 p.m. Tryout information can be found through the QR codes on the screen and also by accessing the <coughs> Google Classroom with the code on the screen as well. Tonight, Saturday and Sunday, Farmington Theater will be performing Footloose the Musical. Show times are tonight at 7 p.m., Saturday at 7 p.m., and Sunday at 2 p.m. Tickets will be sold at the door, and they are $10 for adults and $5 for students. And the doors will open one hour before showtime. Seniors, do you need your gown steam for graduation? If so, DECA has a solution for you. For only $5, Mrs. Gates and uh, DECA will steam your gown for you, so it's wrinkle-free come graduation. If you're interested, please see Mrs. Gates and all proceeds go to support the DECA Club. Seniors, don't forget to fill out the Senior Class Favorite Survey and Senior T-shirt slash project graduation form located on your Class of 2022 Google Classroom. Well, that was going to do it for us for the news today. We're going to send it over to Victor in the Card Center with the latest and greatest in sports. Good morning, Farmington. My name is Victor Pacheco, and the concert will bring you the latest and greatest in sports. Both soccer teams were back in action Tuesday night when they traveled to Gentry to take on the Pioneers. The Lady Connors defeat the Gentry Lady Pioneers 5-0 to, to the, their conference record to 1-0 on the season. The Lady Connors were lead officially by Lady Brown with two goals, and Matt Olsen with two goals, and Mr. Amos with a goal. And defense by Kenny Steen with seven goals, he says, and greatest defense stops by Luan Inney and Cott and others. The Red Birdies will take on the Harrison Lady Goblins tonight in Harrison at 5 o'clock. On the board side, the Red Birds also completion their conference victory of, of the season with two to nothing victory over the Pioneers. Gunther and George Campbell both and scored goals last night when Steven Gunnarsson has six saves in the goalie box. The boys' teams were also back in action tonight, the, and Harrison take on the Goblets at 7 o'clock. The Lady softball teams was back in action Tuesday night in gravity take on the Lady Lions. Kurt Seven and company came away with 23-14 victory and extra measure over gravit, the Lady Cardinals will be back in action on Tuesday, April 5th, right here in Farmington against the Lake and Lady Lady Wolves. Fancy Squad will take the field at 5 o'clock and will be followed by JV Squad. Well, it's going to be due for, the, for us here in the concert. Before we leave today, we special presentation video for you and which are into the new ACT's Work Keys program that will be offered soon. Have a fantastic Friday, Farmington.
Man, I hate tests. Have you ever taken a test that doesn't feel very beneficial to you, or just like a complete waste of time? Well, the NCRC is a credential that is earned when an individual takes a three-part key work assessment. By passing this test and getting a certificate, it can give you the upper hand when trying to get a job. I saw on your resume you earned your National Career Readiness Certification. Can you tell me a little more about that? Yes, I took the Work Keys exam and got a pat Platinum Plus on it. I also got the certification that was signed by the governor that proves my readiness for this job and my overall skills. Good deal. We'll review your application and get back with you. Thank you. Thanks nice to meet you. In. Do you have anything extra or anything you wanted to add to your uh, application? Uh, well, I look good. Is that enough? Uh, we'll see. So we'll review your application and get back with you. I nice appreciate it. Hey, Mr. Cloud Speaker. Uh, I hate to break the news, but we have found somebody that is uh, more qualified to fit the position, and uh, we wish you the best of luck. Thank you. Hello, Mr. Birch? Okay, that's okay. Thank you for letting me know. All right, have a good day. Man, I should have taken my work keys exam and gotten my NCRC. Bam! Real life situation. And we're just trying to keep you on the right side of the phone.